So it was a long one. Um, obviously, just grew up on a council estate, that sort of vibe. Um, it was mad. So one of my neighbours had a load of like weed posters on his wall as a kid, sort of like the alien with a big giant hanging out the mouth, take me to your dealer and all that. Yeah. And then when he was taking all his wall down, I had it. My mum was obviously a bit fuming, but I had it down a little alcove and all that. So that was like year five. I got a Snoop Dogg's Up in Smoke tour and Pirate DVD. And I had obviously Ed Rosen for doing a, a normal conference and all that. And I was mm-hmm. like, this is me. Um, I've been into growing since I could put my thumb in dirt. Uh, my grandma got me building my own troughs and stuff like that. So I see all my own chilies and tomatoes. And then just naturally through life, obviously, the medicine finds you and all that. And yeah, just started. I've always been a smoker, but I've always been more down the side of, like you say, sort of an advocate for it rather than it just being, yeah, it's cool. We just grab it and smoke it. I like everything that I feel it can do for the world, obviously bringing us together. It's a medicine. We've got the endocannabinoid system. It should be part of our life in it. So I've just sort of ran with that, done regular nine to five jobs all my life, warehouse jobs and stuff. Obviously, always kept a passion for the plant and then ended up after doing Tesco for a few years, realising, obviously, I love customer service and that. Started working in a hydro shop and then just took it from there. Obviously, nice natural progression. When you're in a hydro shop, all you want to do is be a rep and now I'm a rep on the road, so see where I go from here, innit? Nice, nice. I didn't realise you were a veteran of the Tesco Wars. I am a fellow veteran. I spent a few years in the trenches. Um, yeah, very interesting cooperation that I think uh, we, we can make jokes of here, but they are quite... Uh, Gives a good insight. Into... Uh, yeah, they're a... Uh, yeah, an interesting company to work for. I'm trying to think of... I, I, there's a lot of things I want to comment on, but I know I don't have the largest platform in the world, but of, of all of the companies, I think Tesco might be one to have a go at us for uh, revealing yeah. some of their practices. So let's call them pricks and move on. <laughs> so, um, yeah, of course, natural progression is to see from retail customer service in sort of hydro merging those those loves. Um, so how long were you in the hydro shop sort of before you moved into rep and working with a uh, fertilizer? So I was only in the shop for about two years. It was like year year plus. Ended up leaving there. Obviously, lockdown hit. Split with the missus and all that sort of drama. Didn't have a vehicle. Didn't have a car. So I was working, literally cleaning in a, a meat factory. Well, I worked in a rubber factory. I worked cleaning in a meat factory, cleaning in a salad factory. And then it was a mad little twist of fate, to be fair. Um, I started, so I moved up to Yorkshire, where is West Yorkshire, out of Manchester. And I started searching um, Aqualabs Sheffield jobs. Because I knew, obviously, I'd used Shogun in the past. Working at the shop, it was one of our best-selling brands, so I always pushed for these guys. And then, as I've been Googling sort of Sheffield, Aqualabs jobs, nothing was about. Two weeks later, they've posted on Instagram <laughs> that they need um, a North rep. So I was like, right, well, that needs to be me, in it. Put in the comments, obviously, this job's made for me. Sent them a CV and done, it, done the official thing. But then I started getting um, all the other reps that I'd spoke to in the shop and stuff like that. Um, started commenting, sort of, I vote for Lewis. You need Lewis, you need Lewis. So mm-hmm. that was good too. It was nice. But I did take a little hiatus. So obviously I had a bit of imposter syndrome where I don't feel like I'm true hydro because I did miss the summer of love that was like earlier. Mm-hmm. But um, I, I lived through this lockdown bit, which was absolute crazy, hydro boom. And... Um, yeah, there's a big difference from when I was in a shop in 2018 to being in a shop now. And obviously we'll get into that a bit later about shop culture and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. yeah, 